Hey, what's going on guys? It's Raf from BNC Camera, and it is no surprise that I am a big fan of DJI products, more specifically the pocket line of cameras. In today's video, we're gonna be talking today about this brand new system right here. This is a DJI Pocket 3, uh, just came out recently. Uh, if you guys want specific dates, it came out in October 25th, 2023. And so far I've been shooting with the system and it's been putting in a lot of work. But before we jump right into things, let's go ahead and have a little brief history lesson time. I started out with this little guy right here as a broke college kid that can't afford all the stuff that I have now, right? Um, I actually shot with the Pocket One way back in the day and it gave me great results. It is a one over 2.3 megapixel sensor size and um, yeah, it shoots 4K 60 frames. I utilize it specifically during college for my documentary class during the pandemic and yeah, I mean, um, for somebody that didn't have much and was utilizing stuff and lockdown, right? I was able to get a lot of work done with this little camera system. Now moving on to the next camera system, I jumped over to the Pocket 2, right? And not much has really changed between iterations. The wireless module here is definitely a lot more cleaner compared to just using this guy. Utilizing the app is pretty nice. And also they provided this little stick, this little joystick like a video game to basically control the gimbal instead of having this little control dial system. Now, of course, if you've caught any of the videos on the YouTube page, you've noticed uh, me being in the shot. I've either given a buddy this little camera system, tell him, hey, hit the record button, or you know, I have it on like a stand or something and have it shoot for me, no problem. So here's another really cool best possible case scenario. Uh, I went ahead and took a video of my buddies performing live at Brooklyn Bowl and I wanted to do a multi-cam angle. So I was a one-man band, I was shooting with the C70 roaming, and I had my Pocket 1 and my Pocket 2 as side angle cameras. And it worked, it did the job fairly well, as you can see from the footage here. I was able to cross cut in between, and yeah, it was a great time. It's a good little side buddy, pretty much, if you will, for shooting content and videos. And the image quality, again, is really solid on it. So again, that's the Pocket 2 for you guys. Uh, again, a really great system. Um, very easy to use and that's kind of the main thing uh, with these lines of cameras. It's very easy to use but you can get really technical with it, especially with the brand new DJI Pocket 3. So now with this little guy right here, the Pocket 3 is a full one inch sensor camera system. Uh, there's a lot more. So as you can see here, the evolution of this camera is crazy. So with the Pocket 3, I think DJI addressed a lot of the wants that customers have been uh, requesting for quite some time. Um, of course, the first big major thing is the screen. It's definitely a lot bigger, right? And the cool thing about the screen as well is when you flip it this way, you can actually shoot vertical as well. So once you hit the button here to hit continue, you can actually shoot vertical. And again, this has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, for say, for example, if I want to shoot uh, behind the scenes content. When I'm out on the field showcasing people on my social media, hey, this is what I'm doing today. Or, you know, if I'm doing quick content here on the store, uh, just to showcase for reels, TikTok stories and whatnot, you're able to just kind of um, immediately record in vertical mode, which is really great. Now, of course, at the gate, this camera system supports 4K 60 horizontally. Vertically, it supports 3K at 60 frames per second. And the other cool thing about this camera system as well is you can shoot open gate. Now, what is open gate, you may be asking. Uh, for those who aren't initiated, the open gate system basically utilizes the entire sensor of the camera, so it shoots like a box. But uh, you'll be able to kind of crop and change the aspect ratios to whatever you want in post. So again, this camera system can be as technical or as easy to use as you want. There's a bunch of other cool modes on it as well, such as motion lapse, hyperlapse, all that fun stuff. Another neat thing that I do like about the camera system now is that everything is built into the stick. This little bottom piece, unlike the Pocket 2, uh, this bottom piece is the wireless module and the audio input. This system right here is basically a placeholder to put it on like a tripod or a light stand. It's got a quarter 23rd on the bottom and you can go from there. Um, so again, the wireless module is built in. You can go ahead and sync it up to your phone via the DJI Mimo app, which is very simple and easy to use. And yeah, I love the system so far. Now stabilization, of course, with this camera is great. It's a mechanical stabilization, not digital, which is what I love. And the best part about it as well is the uh, phase hybrid autofocusing system, which is built into this little guy, which is crazy. Um, I've actually done some testing with it. I've utilized it uh, for tracking as well. There's also facial tracking. So if you're wanting to do this and um, utilize it for vlogging purposes, right? If you look at the camera right now, it's actually tracking me and I have it on vertical mode. 
So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty sweet system. All right, some other cool little side uh, notes and fun facts about this camera system. If you plug it into your uh, computer via USB-C, you can actually utilize this camera as a high-end uh, webcam, which is pretty nuts. So scenarios where you can use stuff like this, Twitch is a great example. You can actually utilize this camera system for it to track your head and whatnot. Uh, another cool scenario that you can do is uh, online lectures or if you're doing pre-recorded lectures, you can actually have a screen. Uh, if you have like OBS, you can have one screen open with the program and on the bottom right, bottom wherever, uh, for picture on picture, you can actually have your, your head, right? Tell students basically how to do this and that. I'm using so. this as a webcam. So we're now doing a lecture. We're showing you how to use DaVinci Resolve. Um, I'm gonna go on, say for example, Skype. Is Skype still a thing? Zoom. We're gonna go on Zoom and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, right? Do video editing, right? You wanna compile everything, grab all the footage, blah, 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 this and that. But it works. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty sweet. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of practical applications you can utilize with this camera system. Um, again, uh, sky's the limit. I mean, it's all based off of your imagination. Uh, for me, as someone that's using this camera system, again, I'm gonna be using it for B-roll. Um, honestly, I've shot I shot this camera with a wedding and like the image quality on it's super great. On the technical side, again, you can actually shoot a log with this. It has two other color profiles, which is HLG and 10-bit D-Log M, which is really cool. So again, if you really want to get geeky about it, technical with it, you can actually do a lot of coloring with this camera system in post too. So yeah, that's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for you. Again, I love the system so far. I believe for the practical application and for the price of it, um, it's a really great system. If you're an aspiring content creator or somebody that's already steeped into the field and just want a little side camera just in case for quick moments, can't whip out the mirrorless system fast enough to put the lens on and whatnot, but you have this pulled off on the side, pew, pew, um, it's a good little hip fire camera system for you. It's, it's a pocketable camera, look at that, that's crazy. 4K, 60 frames, come on, can't go wrong with that. Of course, if you guys have any questions with the pocket system, I shoot with it myself. Feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. Of course, if you like the video, give us a like and subscribe. And of course, I am none other than Raph from BNC Camera, and I'll catch you guys in another video. See ya.